The PBA does not know what to do. Jason Belmonte is running scared. Why watch another video of him or professionals like him showing their elite skills when you can watch me suck at bowling? Welcome to another exciting edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, coming to you from the playaway lanes in Wichita, Massa, Kansas. The last two games tank were no good. The first game was a pathetic 84, and then it didn't get too much better with a 96. Are things going to get better, or are things going to keep going the way they is? We're going to find out, but of course before we find out, Watch Me Suck It Ball is proud to sponsor the hit Candlepin TV show King of the Palace. If you want to see what this Candlepin thing is all about, type in King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar. If you like it enough to subscribe to the show, go to youtube.com slash newpalacelanes. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell thingy so you can get new videos in your inbox. And now, time to watch some dumb city slicker try to play this regular game of bowling. Frame one bowling. Because this place plays music, unfortunately, most audio except for the pinfall will be muted. There's the first ball off to the right, and so far a three. Ball two. That's not a very good start. But then again, it's a very makeable spare. Here we go. There goes the ball. And too thin. And we leave the double wood for an eight. For those of you who like the pin setters, here's the AMF setting a new set of ten. And there you go. Frame two, ball one. We are off to one of our famous flying starts. Hopefully things will get better than that. Here goes the ball, again off to the right, and knocks down everything except for the middle finger. For those of you who like the pin setters, this is the AMF clearing away the dead wood and putting the head pin back in place. And there you go. Ball two. There are 20 inches of lane that will hit that pin and get rid of it. There it goes. Looks like we found it. And that's what we think of the bowling gods. So far, not too bad. We got a slow start with an 8 and 1, and then a spare and 2. So far, we've got an 18. But what will El Stinko the bonus ball give us? Frame 3 ball 1. Let's not forget that it's El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Here it comes. It's looking pretty bad, and El Stinko lives up to its name with a three. Ball two. Once again, left with a very makeable spare, just like frame one. Here she comes, off to the side again, and only two more for a five. Curse of the fill. Frame four, ball one. After that performance, that spare pretty much meant nothing. All it did was just made a bad game just a little less pathetic. There's the ball. Actually looking pretty good, and we needed that. We needed it. It's a mixture of good and bad here. We got that awful five frame. Only three of those making the fill for Il Stinko in frame two. And then a strike in four. Now we have at least 36 with two El Stinko the bonus balls. Frame five, ball one, El Stinko one. So now the question is, what will they add up to? Let's find out. Here's El Stinko 1, off to the right again, and managed to get 6. Ball 2. It is also El Stinko 2. Can we get the rest of them? Here it comes, ever so slowly. Not looking too bad, and ooh, missed one. But a 9 fill and a 9 frame. Frame, yeah. The fill, not too bad. Frame six, ball one. The strike and the nine fill really helped the score. Now if we can just keep doing that, even if it spares. 
There's the first ball off to the right again. And seven. Ball two. The one, two, and nine. We've been down this road before. Usually ends with an open frame. So here we go. There's the ball. Off to the right again. And we get the one on the back for an eight. Well, that's a little weak. We got a nine and five, which makes for the fill in the strike for four as well. And then an eight and six. We are now at 62. Three digit score possible, but still not all that good. Frame seven, ball one. At least this time, we could be hitting three digits, but there's still plenty of frames to screw up or do well in, who knows? There's the ball, looking pretty good. And this time it's not a Brooklyn strike. It's starting to look a little bit more on the better side of things. Frame eight, ball one, Ostinko one. What will they add up to? Hopefully a 10, that way we can get another mark to fill. There's the first ball off to the right per usual, and only four. Ball to Ostinko two. That's a tough leave to get all 10, but let's see what we get anyway. There's the second ball, little better, but off to the left. Well, an eight fill. Again, not too bad. We got a strike in seven and then an eight fill from frame eight being an eight and 88. Frame nine, ball one. Time to wrap this game up. Hopefully we come out strong. Here we go. First ball, not too bad. Ooh, a little too full, leaving the new palace right. Ball two. What stinks about a corner pin being what's left standing is you only have one side in which to hit it on. You don't have the freedom of 20 inches, but the ball finds it anyway just before hitting the gutter for the spare. Last frame ball one. It is also El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's hope for a high bonus just to make a bad game a little less bad. There she goes, a little too far to the right, but a seven fill. Ball two, finally broke 100. Finally, a three digit game, but can we get a spare so we can make it a little less than below average game? There's the ball and the answer will be no. The three remain. Yet another underperforming game, but better than last, it was still going up. We got a 112. We got some decent marks, but unfortunately, no marks following it, so the score couldn't pile up. And that's this edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Playaway Lanes in Wichita, Massachusetts. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one. <laughs>